We've seen more trees down than we can count from Durham to Creedmoor to Falls Lake. All of this from those strong storms that rolled through Tuesday afternoon. Some people are describing this as the worst damage they've seen since Hurricane Fran back in 1996. We had 52 reports of wind damage. You can see each one of those marked on this map. That is the most in a single day all year. WRL's Matt Tallhelm wanted to know why so many trees are falling. He joins us now live in Raleigh. Matt, what were you told? Well, Deborah, we've seen so many of these big trees like this one come crashing down. You can see this one, the branch splintered right there and then came crashing down into a parking spot right here on St. Mary's Street. I talked to a forestry expert from NC State Extension who says this really comes down to three main reasons why these trees are falling and all of that from the root to the stem of the tree up to the branches. Powerful winds can switch the sway of trees. And they was consistently down one way and then all of a sudden it would switch right back up and the trees would go the opposite. And in an instant, they go from standing to this. Rafters, roof, all the fascia boards, the gutters, everything's ripped off. Tall trees tumbled like dominoes in the woods. Others tipped over, ripping up big chunks of the ground around them. The first thing to do is anytime we have major storms come through like this, people should get out and inspect the trees. Robert Barden is with the NC State Extension Forestry Department. Trees are meant to sway back and forth. He says some of the reason we see trees coming down is rooted in the triangle's growth. As development clears wooded areas to make way for new homes or businesses, the trees left standing aren't as strong. You remove the support of the neighboring trees away, that tree didn't form that wood when it was developing, so they're more susceptible to uh, damage and things from windstorms. After a storm, Barden says trees that shifted or pulled up the ground around them should be removed immediately and check trees for new cracks. Uh, the wind can blow and actually twist a tree which can cause the stem to crack. We had this tree trimmed back off of our house. Realtor Jason Kojak had four trees come down this summer at his rental properties. I mean, just as a tip, it's more expensive sometimes to take a tree that's laying down than a tree that's standing up. He encourages people to be proactive and trim back trees that may be touching the house or at risk of doing damage from a fall. Because it's not just the property damage, it's the people inside the house that you have to be, you know, thinking about as well. Yeah, so if you want to find out about your own trees, the NC State Cooperative Extension actually has free resources in every county when it comes to tree care. One thing, too, to look at, see the branches like this? These are dead branches. There's no leaves on them, which they should have on them at this time of year. But another thing, when you talk about the leaves like this, they can actually act as sails on a ship. So if those leaves are big and healthy like they should be right now and you get those strong winds, they kind of act like this, the sails on a ship and can push a tree over, especially if the ground is saturated with a lot of rain. Yeah, and that's exactly what we saw on Hurricane mm -hmm. Fran all those years ago. Wow, yeah. We had so many trees down. Matt Tallhelm mm -hmm. live in Raleigh. Thank you, Matt.